Okay, my name is Justin McShane, and what we're going to do is we're going to look at the graphic user interface for the GCMS data analysis system. Uh, this is going to be the Agilent uh, ChemStation model, and we're going to look at real-life data and uh, show how co evolution really does matter and how human integrity to a degree comes into play. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to double-click on the uh, on the ChemStation uh, software startup here, and as you'll see on the splash screen, it's the most recent version of the uh, system software itself uh, and here's the prompts that go along with it. So what we're going to do is load in some data from a uh, from a uh, analysis of a, of a case that's here. That's the total ion current chromatogram. Here are the peaks that are analyte of interest uh, done through chromatography and if uh, the chromatography was good and there was no co eluding peaks then we would expect that anywhere that we click because what one has to do is one has to right double click on this um, peak uh, characteristic uh, in order to pull up a scan that's down below. That's the way this system works. And so, for example, when we take a look here and we zoom in on our third peak that's here, um, we would right double click, and if it wasn't a uh, if it was a well resolved peak, then it shouldn't matter as far as the reporting in the NIST spectral library wherever you click anywhere right double click on there should come to the same result and what we're going to do is we're going to see how this does make a difference in real life so where you click should determine what result that you get so let's take some extreme positions let's say that you're an analyst and you right double click down here uh, where there's clearly a peak and there's the beginning of the compound uh, and so we right double click that comes up with the scan that's down below here the next thing we do is right double click to open up the NIST spectral library and you'll see here that it says, uh, this is just to orient you here, here's the histogram. As you can see, all the values are really low um, in terms of uh, the match factors. And over here is we have the hit um, list. This is the top 100 list, the top 100 guesses that the algorithm comes up with. And you can see here on the top uh, list, it says uh, aloe pseudo cocaine. And the significance of that is not only is the match factors really low, and the relative match factor is, uh, is okay, but not great. But the probability score is really low. Uh, the allo pseudococaine, we go over here to the text area. We can see where the spectrum came from. This uh, Dr. Uh, Zemenik uh, from New, New York, uh, North York, I'm sorry, Canada. And we can see how it was done in the cast number and that it was from the main library. And then here's the comparisons, and you can either do the difference, a head-to-tail, a side-by-side, -side, or a subtraction to leave only the differences that are there. That's your uh, spectrum, um, that because uh, you can see it's scaled up to 100, um, as opposed to our scan, which is just by uh, abundance. Um, so um, what you're doing is comparing this to this, and what it's saying is our top guess here is this allo pseudococaine. The issue with that is some states allo pseudococaine is not uh, illegal. So if this was a well resolved peak that we have here, it doesn't matter where we right double click, we should always come up with allo pseudococaine. So let's uh, choose the the highest peak, uh, the highest uh, part of the peak, and then right double click on it. Oh my goodness, it changes out to be cocaine with really high match factors and then really high probability scores. Uh, and also over here we can see where it's compared and the probability score is not that great I, I confess and then at the top three are cocaine so if you went in here and you hit print and you did the auto report what the auto report will do on the uh, on the print is that it is set by default not to do 10 because that's what I did before but to do three if you only do three then if it's the top three then you see that there's no possibility of anything other than cocaine over here you can decide what else you want to print out on the report. So if you remember in our first example when we went back over here and we clicked on the extreme it came up with aloe cocaine and if, if you notice uh, aloe pseudococaine if you notice the match factors change not only is the possibility of getting it wrong and having these different compounds that are there and what report in terms of how many matches that you do uh, make a difference in where you click on the peak so you're inviting a lot of human integrity that goes along with it because if this was truly a well-resolved peak 
and it shouldn't matter where you click on the peak it should all come up with a uh, the same thing so you go over here and you write double click and aloe pseudococaine but you go over here and it's going to say cocaine uh, and it's going to give you different match factors different probability scores that are there so let's contrast that with a well resolved peak and uh, let's go with this one uh, and you right double click on here right double click codeine and no matter where you click on it codeine so I mean it really does matter where you click on these in order to get the uh, the results uh, and where the results matter so um, back over to here let's see the difference in the in the reporting styles so what you can do is the first thing that you would do is you would hit print and then you can see here you can either do a selected window the total ion chromatogram in the in the scan spectrum the method itself um, those are different things that can be printed out and of course you can do different types of uh, prints you can export data to CSV files so way it's open in any Excel spreadsheet AIA format but uh, also over here when you do the NIST spectral library um, what you get is if you do an auto report you get one sheet of paper and not very much information but if you go into the print I'm sorry if you go into the print instead of the auto report the print report you can choose you know the first you can literally click and choose and what it'll do is it'll print out all of the compound information 10 largest peaks for each one of those uh, that go along and that way you can uh, do it but probably one of the most useful ones that isn't provided to us is this uh, match factor so let's go back to our uh, aloe cocaine uh, example aloe pseudococaine example rather so uh, aloe pseudococaine that's there and then we go back over here and we right double click and we come up with cocaine and if we just did the first three then you know hey it's cocaine and it's got these match factors there's not even another thing that's on there but obviously number four if you're in a state that doesn't outlaw aloe pseudococaine that would really matter to know and especially because the match and the relative match factors are good so what you can do is right click on here and you can print this screen individually and if you print this screen individually it'll give you that hit list that you want to see so here it is you can see here the different factors that are there it'll tell you what library it comes from it'll tell you the match scores it'll tell you the relative match scores and then the probability scores so it's actually really simple to do and therefore don't let a judge or uh, an analyst tell you that it's too much work because it clearly isn't and it's about getting it right